Imagine a world where doctors could see inside your body, your brain, your muscles, even your organs, without a single cut or incision. Well, that world exists today thanks to the invention of the MRI machine. But how did this incredible technology come to be? That's what we're exploring today, the fascinating story behind the MRI. MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging, is one of the most advanced imaging techniques in modern medicine. Unlike X-rays or CT scans, which use harmful radiation, MRI uses powerful magnetic fields and radio waves to produce detailed images of the soft tissues inside your body. This technology is crucial for diagnosing everything from brain tumors to spinal injuries. MRIs use protons which are abundant in the human body because most of the human body is made up of water molecules which consist of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. At the center of each hydrogen atom is an even smaller particle called a proton. All protons spin, creating a small magnetic charge. When a strong magnetic field is introduced, as is the case in an MRI machine, the protons align with that field. MRI technician then introduces a radio frequency pulse that disrupts the proton and forces it into either a 90 degree or 180 degree realignment with the static magnetic field. Since the radio frequency pulse pushed the proton against its nature, once this pulse is turned off, the proton realign with the magnetic field releasing electromagnetic energy along the way. The MRI is able to detect this energy and is able to differentiate various tissues based on how quickly they release energy after the pulse is turned off. Before the invention of MRI, doctors relied on older technologies like X-rays and CT scans. These were effective for imaging bones and dense structures, but couldn't show soft tissues like muscles, ligaments, or even the brain. This limitation left doctors searching for a safer and more accurate way to see inside the body. The breakthrough came in the 1940s when two physicists, Felix Bloch and Edward Purcell, discovered a phenomenon known as nuclear magnetic resonance, or NMR. They found that certain atomic nuclei could absorb and emit radio waves when placed in a magnetic field. This discovery was originally used in chemistry to study molecular structures, but it would soon become the foundation of MRI technology. But how did a discovery from the world of physics become a medical imaging tool? This is where some brilliant minds stepped in. In 1971, Dr. Raymond Damadian, a medical doctor and scientist, made a groundbreaking discovery. He found that cancerous tissues emitted different NMR signals than healthy tissues. He believed this could be used to create a machine that could detect cancer in the human body, but there was one problem, how to turn these signals into clear images. That's where Paul Lauterbur comes in. In 1973, he figured out that by using gradients in the magnetic field, you could produce 2D images allowing for the first true MRI scans. Lauterbur's technique laid the foundation for modern MRI imaging. Peter Mansfield took it one step further. He refined the mathematics behind the imaging process, which made MRI scans faster and much clearer. Thanks to his work, MRI machines became practical for everyday use in hospitals. The first full-body MRI scanner was developed in 1977 by Dr. Damadian, and it took a staggering five hours to produce a single image. Although it was slow and not yet widely used, this was the beginning of a revolution in medical imaging. In 2003, Paul Lauterbur and Peter Mansfield were awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their contributions to MRI technology. But the award sparked controversy. Dr. Raymond Damadian, whose early work was crucial, was left out of the prize, leading to heated debates in the scientific community. Despite the controversy, all three men played pivotal roles in making MRI the life-saving tool it is today. Today, MRI machines are used in hospitals all over the world. They've transformed the way we diagnose and treat diseases, especially in fields like neurology, oncology, and orthopedics. The ability to see soft tissues, blood vessels, and even brain activity has saved countless lives. Perhaps one of the most significant advantages of MRI is its safety. Unlike X-rays or CT scans, 
MRI doesn't expose patients to harmful ionizing radiation, making it a safer option for long-term care. So what's next for MRI technology? One exciting advancement is functional MRI or fMRI, which measures brain activity in real time. Researchers are also working on faster, more portable MRI machines that could be used in emergency situations or in developing countries. As technology continues to evolve, MRI will only become more accessible, faster and more powerful, pushing the boundaries of what we can see inside the human body. From its early days as a slow and experimental machine to the life-saving technology it is today, the invention of the MRI has transformed medicine forever. Without it, diagnosing many serious conditions would still be a guessing game. So the next time you hear that loud hum inside the MRI machine, remember, it's the sound of over half a century of scientific discovery, changing lives one scan at a time.